Welcome. In front of me is a Blackview BV6600 uh, and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So you can clearly see that the phone I have right here is locked. It's telling me to verify the previously used pattern and I can set up right here to verify the previously used Google account. So now assuming we don't know either of those we can just bypass this. And you want to start off by progressing a little bit through the setup till we get to the Wi-Fi connection page, like this one. You want to connect to some network, this is required. Once you have connected to your network, you will go back to the first first page. And from here, we're going to select Vision Settings, Talkback, we're going to enable it. Talkback on, Talkback. And there we go. Now muting it is not uh, required, though it is annoying, so if you want to, you can mute it just as I did. Anyway, uh, once you have uh, gone, gotten to this page right here, you will want to draw a mirrored L on the screen, just like this. This will bring up this uh, little window right here, so you, uh, the first option is already selected with this green outline, which is good. Uh, right now we can't really use a display uh, normally, so if you want to accept this first option, which we need to do, you will first need to have it selected as it is, and then double tap it to confirm it. This will bring up this option. Right here, use voice commands to control the talkback, so you want to select use voice commands, select it once, and then before you tap on it twice, I'll quickly go into the process that we need to now follow up. So, uh, when you double tap on it, you will hear a beep, and when you hear that beep, you want to say open Google Assistant. This will open up Google Assistant and this will give you another beep. Uh, once you hear that one, the second one, you want to say open YouTube. So I'm going to do this right now and you can kind of see and hear how it's done. Open Google Assistant. Okay, and then open YouTube. Opening YouTube. Now I was certain that it failed. The sound uh, kind of suggested that it didn't recognize my voice, but apparently it did because as you've seen, it opened up YouTube, which I did follow up uh, with open YouTube. This wasn't necessarily the most perfect way of going about it, but I guess it works. So anyway, from here, uh, we will now want to suspend talkback. So we're gonna hold volume up and down at the same time. You want to select turn on, double tap, then hold those two keys again. And now we can use our display normally. So from here, you want to select your account icon, go to settings, about Google privacy policy, select Chrome, accept and continue and no thanks. And then right at the top, you want to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. I'll write it down and you can pause the video if you need a moment to copy it. So now would be the time to pause. Anyway, from here you will scroll down to settings. And once in settings, we will now navigate to apps and notifications. From here, you want to select see all 49 apps. And then you want to tap on the three dots and select show system. And now we're going to start off by selecting the first Android setup. There is two of them, as you can see. So select the first one, select disable, and disable app for stop and OK. Go back, go to the second Android setup, for stop it, go back again, scroll down to Google Play Services, yeah, and there we go. As you can see, it's like a little bit for past like half point. So once you find your Google Play Services, click on it, and again, disable, disable up, for stop, and okay. We're gonna go back, we're gonna go back once again, 
and again to the main settings page and from here we're gonna navigate down to accessibility Now we're looking for accessibility mini. Oh, it's right at the top. How did I not see it? It's literally the first option. Accessibility mini. Uh, then you want to select this checkbox right here to turn on accessibility mini. It gives us a guide on how to use it. So we'll need to use two fingers, swipe up to access it. So just to showcase this, that's how it looks like. Anyway, uh, once you have enabled the accessibility menu shortcut, you will now just spam the back button until you get to the setup, the first page of the setup. There we go. So, uh, from the first page right here, you will now want to progress through the setup. Now, because we are already connected to Wi-Fi, it skips that page and goes automatically to the next one, which is uh, this, I believe. Yep, checking for updates, just a second again, checking updates. So that's what you're looking for. Once it's stuck on this page, which it will be stuck if everything is done correctly, uh, you will now want to use the, uh, the accessibility menu. So to swipe up, to, to finger swipe up, you will select assistant, then press settings, Come on. Interesting. Oh, and there we go. I don't know why it didn't want to open up uh, sooner. Now this is kind of random, so I guess it's to be expected. Uh, so uh, as you've seen, there was a settings page show up. Uh, this should show up once uh, once you press the uh, accessibility or uh, the assistant button. It shows up settings. You want to press on the settings and then you want to select enable as I did. Um, now at any point throughout any of these steps, either pressing the settings, uh, trying to press enable or going to through the assistant, uh, this will close off um, and you just kind of have to keep repeating this till you manage to do the entire process uh, till you get to enable this button or press enable here. Once it's enabled, as you can see, it switches to disable instead, which is fine. So once it shows disable, you want to go back. I'm going to close out the uh, talkback right there. And we can now finish up the setup. Now at this point, you want to just kind of blast through the setup right here, skipping everything that you can. It does not matter whatsoever what you select right now because the device is still locked. So choose whatever, you can even choose Bing as a search, uh, search engine because it's gonna to be, going to be reset it anyway. I'm gonna skip adding fingerprint and pen, pattern, password, whatever. And select agree, gonna select next. As you can see, we are now on the home screen. So from here, you want to navigate to your settings. Scroll all the way down to system. Scroll again all the way down to, oh, there we go. Reset options, erase all data, factor reset, erase all data. And then I believe once you press on this erase all data or the next one, the process of factory resetting your device will begin. Now, I'm not gonna go uh, through this on the video just because once you press that button, the process is done. The phone will automatically go through the factory reset of it, which you can't really do anything throughout it. And once it's finished, you will be taken back to the setup of your phone. But at that point, the device will be fully unlocked so you can set it up however you want. Uh, so yeah, the setup will be basically as you would expect from any typical setup on any kind of like brand new device where you can skip connecting to Wi-Fi and all that stuff. Uh, but like I said, I'm not gonna go through it. It's just gonna waste time. I'm pretty sure you're not gonna get much from seeing a black screen when it's factory resetting and setup screen 
as a normal one, so I'm confident enough if you went through the bypass, you can most likely finish up the setup uh, by choosing whatever you want to do. So anyway, that being said, this is how you could bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.